y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Inside the Dressing Room. I feel like we're sort of on a roll. So last week we did Loft and today we're going to do Belk. I shared over on Instagram that Belk was reopening their fitting rooms in the store in my town. Now I know that may not be the case everywhere, but here where I live in Mobile, Alabama, they have two that's four. They have two fitting rooms open. So my belt carries a ton, a ton of plus size options. So I thought it would be fun to do sort of a massive haul inside the dressing room. I miss these. I'm excited for it. I know that y'all miss them too. It's just fun to see what stores offer, but getting the chance to try everything on right then is different. You know it is versus ordering a bunch of stuff, getting it at home, trying it on, and then most likely having to return things. So we're going to do Belk today. Now I know that Belk, we actually just did Belk swimsuits. So for this video as well, I will link additional items down below because I know Belk doesn't ship to everywhere and not everyone has access to Belk. So what I've done in this video in the description box is gone through and tried to find the exact item or similar items from different retailers and link them down below. That way, if you like something, you may still have the chance to get it even if you don't have a Belk in your town. So before I take you inside the store, I want to talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online community with thousands, thousands of classes. They have everything from calligraphy to photography to uh, making your own short films, all sorts of things. I was going through the list earlier before standing here tons and tons of new classes have been added since the last time that I logged on. And the classes too are for all levels. They have beginner levels, they have intermediate, master class levels. So a couple of classes that I've really been loving, Fundamentals of DSLR Photography with Justin Bridges. I'm trying to get better. I have this really nice DSLR camera. I use it for filming, but it also takes really great pictures. So I'm trying to work on settings and figure out the best lighting and all that fun stuff. Crafting your social media presence with Thomas Frank is something that may not apply to everyone, but it applies to me because this is my job. So it'll cost you less than $10 a month if you do the annual membership, but the first 1,000 people to click the link in my bio will get a free Skillshare Premium membership for free. All you have to do is click the link. I know a lot of y'all from past mentions of Skillshare have really enjoyed it. So I hope that if you haven't tried it, then you'll click now. So let's get into the try on portion. We're going to head to Belk. Next clip you see, I will be in my car. And welcome to my car. So I just pulled up in the parking lot. I've been chatting with y'all on Instagram about shopping at Belk, which by the way, you're all for. I'm excited about that. Um, and a lot of y'all told me that your Belk plus size sections are super, super small. I had shared a picture on Instagram saying like, do you want a haul? Which by the way, I think it was like 99% of y'all said yes. And I had someone say, which, which is the plus size? And that the whole picture was plus size. So we have quite a bit of stuff in this store, I'll show you. Uh, so I'm surprised that some stores carry not a lot. Other ones like mine carry a bunch. I guess it depends on maybe where you live and what they think their customer base is. I'm not sure. Those of y'all who work in retail can probably tell me a little bit more about that. So we're going to go in and see what we can find. I know they have a ton of stuff that I really liked from those pictures I shared, like patterned shorts, and they were having huge sales. They actually even expanded their plus size dresses, I noticed last time I was in here. So I'm excited to get in and try everything on. Also, inside the dressing room again, I miss it. I feel like I'm ready for it. It's just so much nicer, not just for me because this is my job, but also for regular shoppers as well. You go in and you can try things on versus just buying a bunch of stuff, taking it home, and then having to come back and return things. So let's get inside. Let's shop. I foresee a massive haul happening. So let's do it. So my store used to not sell plus size pajamas, and now they do. These are super soft, 40% off. I like these matching sets, but the one that I spotted the other day is this. How cute is this sleep shirt? Just like a long button up. Love the colors. Again, super That's soft. And these are 50% off. These pajama sets are cute too. 40% off of these. Super soft. Okay, let's find regular clothes. 
so this is the plus size section all this all this <laughs> and then down that back wall and then some dresses here too so i'm just going to start pulling stuff and then i'll see you in the dressing room let's do this green dress first i absolutely love a tie-dye dress i feel like this one is such a pretty summer dress it's tiered it had an elastic bit around right below the elbow where it hit but then the strings or the ties had the tassels on it and i thought this was adorable so i grabbed this one in a size 2x it is a little bit short maybe a little bit snug in the bust but my go-to i've mentioned so many times is bike shorts with dresses to help me feel a little bit more comfortable in case it is a little bit short so this one overall absolutely love it it also came in a really pretty corally peach so if green's not your thing then that other color you might really really love and speaking of peach or corally this dress is a t-shirt style dress it's a little bit longer which i think is really pretty it was a little bit clingy at times you'll see also i was wearing dark underwear and you can see them through the dress so that's a big no-no um i do like the sleeve length and that it's cuffed i like that it's not really snug on the sleeves. Again, it's a little bit longer, a bit of a curved hem. This one also came in a few different colors, I believe, but this peach one is just really spring summery to me. And I think it could be cute with sandals or even white sneakers. We know I love white sneakers, so this could be a really cute option, even with like a denim jacket over the top. So in theory, this outfit looks adorable from, from far away, right? But the shorts are way too small. These are Crown and Ivy brand, and I guess they just run small. These are in a size 20W. They just won't button or zip, but the pattern is really, really pretty. I love the pink tropicalness of, a, of them. So I chose to pair it with a black top to kind of pull in some of the black from the shorts. And I actually really, really love this top. It sort of looks like a basic tee, but it had a bit of a short, puffier sleeve with an elastic band where it sat on my arm. Really pretty. It also came in white maybe gray, like a few different colors, but the black I felt like just looked really nice with the shorts. This whole look surprised me. I really didn't think I would like this as much as I did. So these are a linen blend cropped wider leg pull-on pants. They do have buttons up the front, but they're fake. So these are actually lined, very comfortable, an elastic bit in the back of the waistband. These I thought were really pretty. The color, the fit of them, the only complaint I have is that it kind of, I guess they were at an awkward length inseam because if I moved too much they kind of rode up in between my legs that was my only complaint I chose to pair them with this white tiered really pretty baby doll style top you can see straight yeah. through it but overall the look is a really pretty look so then I wanted to give these pants another go with a different look. So I chose to throw on this Levi's almost burnt orange colored sweatshirt. This is the softest sweatshirt I've probably ever held in my entire life. It's in a size 3X, fit is perfect. It's slightly cropped, but nothing that I'm upset with. I think it's really pretty. I wanted to see if I could dress down the bottoms. Imagine this with white sneakers. It could be a really cute look. This this sweatshirt could also be nice with any bottoms, I think, but I wanted to see if I could dress down a dressier bottom, and I think that I did. It wouldn't be a spring or summer haul without something hot pink, right? So this dress, I believe, is the Crown and Ivy brand, also in a size 3X, this fit really well with the exception of you can see it sort of puckering at my armpit area but the length is really nice everywhere else fit really nice it wasn't snug i love the tiered option that it had i think that was really pretty this one also came in several different colors black white this pink and i want to say a plaid like pastel plaid print but I thought this was a fun option. Again, you could do sandals or sneakers. You could even tie the side of the, the dress up, throw on a denim jacket. I just liked it. I like the sleeveless. It gets hot where I live. This is the way to go most of the time. <laughs> All right, these shorts, I liked them. 
wearing them, but looking at them on me, I didn't like. I like the length of them. I like the wash. They're pull-on denim shorts, so they don't button or zip. They're super stretchy. They almost fit like bike shorts, which I think is really comfortable, but I don't know. They did have a darker option online, not in store, so I think I may have liked the darker wash a little bit better. This tie-dye top is really, really cute. They had a bunch of different washes of it, so I chose this pinky orange pastel -y color. It's knotted on the side. You can obviously unknot it if you want to. Cuff sleeves. I had a better vision for these shorts and this whole outfit than what it is. Last top I'm going to show you on me is this really pretty mixed pattern blouse. These types of tops are so in right now, this style of pattern. This one is so soft so comfy. It was a tad bit short in the front and longer in the back. I wish it was the same length all the way around. I think I would have liked it a little bit more. Also could just be the shorts I'm wearing, but still, I think that had they been, had it been the same length all the way around, I would have liked it a little bit more. This one, that's the only complaint I have. It's slightly see-through, but the pattern distracts you from being able to see anything, I think. And the last thing I want to show you, I didn't actually get to try on because they were too small, but these shorts, the brand is Wonderly in a size 22W, but I liked that they were more so a true denim than a stretchy mm. denim. I liked the distressing on them. I thought they could be a really pretty option for a plus size true denim short. However, again, they just ran way too small. And we're back at home. So I did make a purchase. I'll show you what I ended up grabbing. This, I don't need. I feel like I say that in every video. Like, I didn't need it but it was too good to pass up. So I snagged the Levi's. It's a tad bit cropped, but not super cropped sweatshirt. This is such a soft material. I grabbed it in a size 3X. I was able to find this exact sweatshirt from a different retailer. So if you like it, you can get it if you can't get access to Belk. Regular price, $49.50. And then I think it was on sale for maybe, it was a little bit off because my total was gonna be like 34 bucks. And then when I was checking out, the woman said, hey, do you have a belt card? And I said, well, I do. And so I swiped it and I had rewards. I paid $5 for this. I'm so happy that I brought this to the register and that I purchased it. I think it's easy to wear like lounging, but also with like uh, denim shorts or just like, I don't know. I liked it and it was $5. Again, I will mention it. Everything that you saw is linked in the description box down below with additional links underneath the Belk links to other retailers that offer or that have the exact same things or super similar items. So I hope that's really helpful. Also a big shout out to Skillshare again for sponsoring this video. I hope you check out the link in my description box. Again, the first 1000 people to click that link will get a free Skillshare premium membership. Thousands of classes, like I mentioned, so many different things. You don't have to be into tech things to enjoy Skillshare. Again, they do tons of other items or other classes as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.